Welcome back, uh, dear viewers. You're still watching The Breakfast Show live on Lyle TV International. It's now time for a second topic of discussion, uh, which is a very important discussion about the latest archaeological discovery in uh, the, or the, the uh, so-called Golden Lost City in Luxor, a 3,000-year-old uh, discovery, and uh, which was hailed as the second most important archaeological discovery in Egypt uh, after the discovery of Tutankhamun's uh, tomb. And uh, to shed more light on this uh, topic, we're most delighted to be joined over the phone by Mr. Ahmed Nouruddin, uh, tourism expert. A very good morning, Mr. Ahmed. Good morning, Karim. Good morning, Mr. Karim. Uh, uh, sir, first of all, if you can tell us about the importance, uh, if, or we can learn more about the importance of this uh, discovery. Uh, you know that this uh, discovery is one of uh, uh, many discoveries that we have uh, uh, this day and uh, uh, this year. But the importance of this uh, discovery is that uh, uh, it will add a new information for this important part of ancient Egyptian history, especially this part of Amenophis uh, III and Amenophis IV Akhenaten. You know that it was, uh, everything was changed by hands of uh, Akhenaten or Akhenaten after his father, Amenophis uh, III or uh, Amenhotep III, so when we have uh, excavation in this area near to uh, tomb of Tutankhamun and I, uh, uh, because you know that they removed everything and they left Luxor in the period of uh, uh, Amenophis IV, Akhenaten, and they constructed a new city, Tal al-Amarna or Akhenaten, as a new capital instead of Luxor. Uh, so when we discover anything that belongs to this uh, period, uh, it means that we will have uh, new information and would add an um, important part for this uh, unknown uh, period uh, uh, of uh, uh, King Akhenaten or Amenophis uh, IV. Uh, Mr. Ahmed, what about the monuments and the relics that were unearthed or were, uh, were unveiled in this uh, discovery? Uh, you know that uh, this uh, discovery is that they found uh, first <clears throat> many things like scarabs, and each scarab will have uh, some inscription, some uh, pottery, uh, uh, and also uh, some mud brick uh, of this uh, city. We know you, they were uh, uh, looking for the Fenrir Temple of uh, Tutankhamun. Uh, uh, because they found the funerary temple of uh, King Ai, who ruled after Tutankhamun, and the Horeb Heb, who ruled after Ai by the end of the 18th uh, dynasty. But they started to uh, uh, excavate and to look uh, for the funerary temple of Tutankhamun. When uh, they were working, uh, they uh, uh, found some uh, mud bricks, uh, part of walls, pottery, scarabs of this uh, uh, period uh, of Amenophis III. When we speak about uh, Amenophis III, he ruled Egypt uh, um, uh, about <clears throat> uh, uh, 33 or 34 years. Uh, Amenophis III, uh, the uh, Egyptian empire reached to uh, uh, the largest part in his uh, period because of the pharaohs who ruled before him and he constructed many temples everywhere so uh, uh, and also uh, uh, palaces uh, of Amenophis uh, III uh, as this city that they started uh, to uh, discover underground uh, maybe will give us more information about this uh, three uh, palaces of Amenophis uh, III and also the administration of this uh, period and also uh, uh, maybe how they uh, produced the pottery, how they, uh, because we will, uh, they, find, they found already some small uh, factories uh, in this uh, place to tell us more about uh, the work and the administration and the uh, uh, industry in this uh, period of uh, Amenophis III and his successor, Amenophis IV or Akhenaten. 
Yes, uh, Mr. Ahmed uh, Nour uh, tourism expert, uh, thank you so much for your uh, insight and thank you so much for uh, being with us on The Breakfast Show. And uh, dear viewers, uh, by this we come to the end of today's episode of The Breakfast Show. Just a quick recap of what we discussed. We talked about uh, the uh, digital uh, transformation and we also talked about uh, the very important archaeological discovery. Uh,